Hey guys, it's Marcus here from SimpleSitesBigProfits.com and today what I have is a special website review for one of our Simple Sites members. That's right, as a Simple Sites member you can actually have us go ahead and review your site and tell you exactly how to make more money. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here with this special site about how to retrieve deleted photos. Now what you'll notice on this page is he's actually set me up a special page on his blog for this review which is what we like you to do. You'll notice up here he has his paid traffic stats. Uh, this is where you would put your paid traffic or free traffic stats. It shows us how much he's paying per click, how many clicks he's gotten. He also has a screenshot from Max Bounty showing the clicks, the earnings, everything like that. His ClickBank stats and his AdSense stats. Now you'll notice that so far he's had 145 clicks from Restore Deleted Photos, approximately set, uh, 50 clicks from Recover Deleted Photos, uh, Deleted Photos, he's got about 39. So all in all, he has a decent amount of traffic here, approximately 300 clicks. You'll also notice that 62 of his clicks went to the PC Backup Lead Gen offer, and that generated him at about $50 or 81 cents per click. Zip Cloud offer got about four clicks and two signups, which generated about $12.80 and an EPC or earnings per click of about 320. Now he's made about $62 and luckily he's spent less than that, but it's not that profitable right now. It's only making a couple of dollars. So what we wanna do is we wanna turn this around and make it work better. Now, first and foremost, what I wanna look at is the fact that he's had 300 clicks and only about 70 of them have actually clicked on the offers. Okay, that's a sign of a lot of people bouncing. That means over a third of his traffic or approximately a third of his traffic is coming to his site and not doing anything. So let's take a look and see if we can change that. First of all, let's take a look at some of the critical numbers involved with this campaign. We have 362, which is the traffic to the landing page. That's how many visitors he got if you add up all the clicks and the amount of people who went to his landing page. The total amount he paid for that traffic was $42.26. So, so far, he is standing at approximately a $20 profit. Not too bad, right? The cost per click was approximately 11.6 cents per click. His effective EPC, or the amount he earned for each and every visitor that he got, was about 17.3 cents per click. And you can see down here on his max bounty screenshot, the amount per click he earned on each offer. Now the reason we go with the effective EPC is because that's the amount that he's earning on each of his clicks. So what we did is we took the 62.80 and divided that by the amount of clicks that were sent to the offer and we got his effective EPC or the amount his landing page is earning per person. And of course, if you did all the math, everything would add up for you and be up, then you'd be able to see how the profit works when you start to scale these things out. For right now, what I'd like to do is take a look at his landing page and see if we can make it a little bit better. Because obviously, if he was able to send just double the amount of traffic to the My PC, <clears throat> to the My PC Backup offer, he'd be making almost double the money, right? So it'd be pretty good. And a lot of that would be profit because of the fact that he already paid for traffic, okay? So instead of a $20 uh, profit, he'd be at a $70 profit. And that's simply by getting 124 clicks instead of 62. All right, now, these things are actually easy to do, but what we wanna talk about is how to do this without diminishing the value of each click. So let's go ahead and I want you to put on your imagination hat, and I want you to imagine that you just typed in something like restore deleted photos, deleted photos, recover deleted photos, retrieve deleted photos, or something like that. And you just typed it into a search engine. And in a matter of seconds, you click on a search engine ad, and this is the page you see. Now I want you to realize that the average user is gonna spend a split second looking at this page and judging it before he decides whether he's gonna stay or whether he's going to leave. Now what we wanna do is we wanna take a look at some of the things we have. Right now, if we were to look at this page as a whole, my eyes first and foremost go to this free ebook. Now the question is, is do I want an ebook already? And when I click it, I have to put in my name and email. Now I know from this customer that very, very few people are putting their name and email in this site. So we wanna, we wanna evaluate that and say, is it worth this space? 
Is it worth having the most valuable spot on our page go to something that isn't converting? So we want to take a look at that and say, well, you know, maybe it's time to change that. Also, we notice up here we have AdSense. Now this AdSense page is worth only about 57 cents, uh, or actually, let's see here, yeah, 57 cents for the entire time, or less than a penny a click, way less than a penny a click. Okay, so that's just completely wasted space. So we wanna get rid of that. Next, we have this opt-in box, which if it's getting opt-ins, then you'll want to keep it. If it's not, get rid of that thing. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at this and see how we can change it based on what this traffic's looking for and get them to click to our offers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at that. First and foremost, what I notice is that we're using the word retrieve a lot. Okay, we wanna stagger it. Since these people are coming from both retrieve, recover, and um, yeah, retrieve and recover deleted photos and restore, we wanna have a mix of those words. So first and foremost, most of your traffic is coming from the word restore. So we wanna have that in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and change the title. I'm actually logged into his WordPress. We're gonna go into his pages, right like this, and we're gonna change the title of this page here. Okay, we're gonna change this to say restore since that is the one that's getting the most clicks. Okay, so we wanna catch those people's eyes right off bat. And we're gonna do that by going right into here and editing this retrieve deleted photos page here. And we're gonna type restore your deleted photos fast. Okay, that way we have something that looks good. We're also gonna take and say, okay, we got retrieve, we got recover and we got restore. So retrieve is in the title, restore is here, and then we're gonna do recover, right, like this. And we're gonna put how to recover deleted photos from your Windows PC, or we could say how to uh, recover deleted photos. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit update here. All right, right, like this. And we're gonna go ahead and reload this and take a look at how it's changed. So now we have how to recover deleted photos, and it's already looking a little bit better. Next, what I wanna do is we wanna notice that our keywords don't differentiate whether they're on a Mac, a PC, a phone, a tablet, a camera, whatever. So we wanna kinda of utilize this to our advantage. And the way we could do that is very simple. We can use our Smart Affiliate Ads Pro plugin, which you get free as a Simple Sites Big Profits or Blog Profit Network member. And we're gonna go ahead and create some ads, which are kind of like ads, which are kind of not ads. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. We're gonna open the Smart Affiliate Ads plugin in our, um, in our WordPress here. We're gonna go ahead and click on Manage Groups. And what I'm going to do is, you can see here how many clicks it's getting. We're gonna go ahead and create a new ad group by clicking the plus. And I'm going to call this Computer Types, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna gather data about our visitors and get a bunch of them to click. Okay, the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna hit uh, computer types. We're gonna choose our template, which is going to be uh, image ads. Let's do news feed. Okay, and then we're gonna do submit, right like this. We're not gonna choose any of those because of the fact that we're gonna use this as a short code, which I'll show you as well later. All this stuff's covered in Simple Sites Big Profits. So if you're confused, but you wanna make money, go get Simple Sites Big Profits and we'll help you with all this. Next, we're gonna go ahead and create our ads like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the major types of computers that we know people are on. We're gonna click on the ad and we're gonna type in Windows, XP, okay? I think some people still use Windows XP. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our affiliate link. And we're gonna put our affiliate link for the highest paying offer here, or not the highest paying, but the highest uh, one that we get clicks on, okay? So the My PC Backup Lead Gen. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go back into our site like this, Windows XP. We're gonna put in our affiliate URL right like this. And we're going to upload an image. Now what you could do is you could just go to Google and get an image that looks like Windows XP, right like this. I can go ahead and uh, save this image. We'll just save this to our pictures folder here and we'll call it Windows XP. Now all we have to do is take this and upload it within this uh, Smart Affiliate Ad. So we're going to go here, 
We're going to do pictures, and you can do these by date. Sort by, there it is. Okay, put Windows XP in right like this. Insert into post. And now we're going to have a little Windows XP box. Go ahead and save it. We're going to do the same exact thing utilizing Windows 7. Okay, put our affiliate link right like that. Upload image. Go ahead and get uh, Windows 7 right like this. Okay, we'll go ahead and let's see here. Get this Windows 7 one here. Save image as Windows 7. Okay, we're going to go ahead and upload that one right like this. Insert. Submit. Now we're going to do Windows 8. All right, like this. And let's see here. I think Windows 8 is the latest one. Okay, where is Windows 8? There we go, right like this. Uh, actually, I'm going to get this one here because it's more of a square looking one. Save image as Win 8. We're going to go ahead and put that one in as well. Right like this. Windows 8. Upload image. Get our Windows 8 here, and then insert into post. Next, what we're going to do is submit it, and we are going to make one for Mac. Okay, so we'll do Mac, and let's see if we can get a Mac logo. All right, like this. All right, perfect. So we'll use this guy here. We can use one of these apples. Okay, very, very simple. Mac OS. There we go. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and save this guy. Save image as. Save it as Mac. And lastly, we're going to put our Mac one in here. Mac OS. All right, right like that. Now, upload image. And what we want to do is we're going to utilize the fact that people are going to want to know instructions for their specific um, their specific computer, okay? Because this is a very testy thing. This is something people want to fix. So we want to use that to our advantage. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get a copy of this one. And we're going to hit uh, down here, okay? We're on our page, retrieve deleted photos. And let's see if we actually had it updated. Okay, I think it was recover. Or was it restore? Restore. Restore deleted photos, and we had how to, how to restore deleted photos. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to say in small font, we're going to go here and do like a heading three, choose your computer type, then back up your data on the next page with uh, what's the offer called? I think our offer is called My PC Backup. Okay, cool. So My PC Backup. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, so we're going to do step one. Right like this. And we can make this red if we want to or something like that. Okay, we'll do uh, red right like this. Or dark red. Okay, and then what we're going to do below this is we're going to put those little icons we just made. And the way we're going to do that is scroll down to the Smart Affiliate Ads plugin right here. Okay, it says Smart Affiliate Ads Pro Shortcode. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and choose computer types like this. We're going to choose Center, and we're going to choose Four Ads. Okay, all we have to do is copy this shortcode. Okay, you can click the button or you can highlight it like this. We're going to copy the short code and we're going to paste it right here like this. Okay, what that's going to do once we save it like this. Now you can also probably put like an iPhone and an Android icon or something like that uh, to make it fill up. A lot of times you want to have six icons or three icons or something even so it doesn't look funny. Next, what we're going to do is delete the AdSense over here. And we're going to do that by going over to our widgets area. Let's go here. We're going to go into appearance and widgets and see if he has it set up in here under text. And it looks like it is in text. So we could just take this and drag it over here, get rid of it. 
uh, and that'll be the quickest way to go ahead and get rid of that, okay? So uh, next, what we wanna do is put like an iPhone or an Android thing here, okay? So that we have some other options, and then we wanna have a step two, okay? Step two would go through and say something about securing files and everything like that, and then maybe uh, have some kind of thing in place of this ebook uh, since no one's opting in, you definitely want to send these people to the offer. But the idea here, first and foremost, is to get people to click on their operating system so that they can get help. Now, there's two different things that you can do here. Number one, you can take and send them directly from the icon straight over to the offer like we're doing now. Okay, that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do this is by actually creating six different intermediate pages or posts and actually have them go to a page that talks about how to recover these files. Because one of the things that I'm seeing here is there's really no step-by-step -step on how to do it except for this video. So uh, you can utilize that method and what will happen is since these open in a new window, you can see up here they open in a new tab, what's going to happen is you're going to have your page open every time they click these. They're going to go to another page which could have like the video and the different offers and things like that and that's going to give you another chance to get the impression okay so what this is going to do is it's going to take those 362 clicks that you got and it's probably going to make about 50 percent of them click on these ads which would mean that 182 or 180 would end up going to your affiliate offers which of course would make a lot more money seeing how uh, 62 made 50 bucks right so theoretically if everything works well you'll get 180 clicks make about 150 bucks on this still spending the same amount on the traffic and you'll be able to do that now what I'd like to see done is I'd like to see you go ahead and um, change this this um, take me there now thing and send them to an offer okay they're not opting in so maybe maybe not have opt-in on this page okay uh, so instead have the pop-up take them directly to an offer or click here to uh, back up your data or something like that also put your iPhone and your Android stuff here or maybe phone and then maybe some other kind of operating system or something like that okay so that's step one what we want to do is we want to test 100 clicks to this offer okay so send a hundred more clicks see how many click on these different things Okay, once you find out how many click, that is the main name of the game. If a bunch of people click, like 50% or more, that's good, all right? Then you go through and you see how they're doing on the offers. If the offers don't convert as well, you wanna precondition them and maybe make those six pages I was telling you about. But the name of the game here is to get them involved in your content, right? Get them clicking, get them going over to the offer because right now, the way it stands, you're only getting about one out of every five people to click to your offers. We need to get that number way up. So focus on that, do some more work on the site like this, uh, get your stats in right, make your pages work correctly. Um, again, like from your iPhone and things like that, this could be a page uh, that you send these people to, okay? So very, very cool. So you can integrate all this stuff. You can make them go to new pages. You can make them click on things. But the name of the game is you gotta get more people to your offer. If AdSense doesn't convert, take it off your page. If people aren't filling this out, take it off your page. Put some kind of banner there or something like that. And first and foremost, you want to focus on not only giving them what you're promising them, which is the instructions on how to recover deleted photos, but you also want to make them click on these things and get them to click deeper into your site. That's the name of the game. Get as many people as you can over to those offers and make sure they know that the offers are the offers, right? You don't want to say click here to win a million dollars and then take them to like some PC thing that doesn't make any sense, right? So you wanna make it like this where these icons make sense and everything like that. So do those kind of things, fix your pop-up, uh, test another 100 clicks, get back with me and let's make this thing work. I think you got a winner here. Have fun with it. And again, if you're watching this review and you want this kind of review for your site, and you want me to show you how to make money online as you know I know how to do, go ahead and go over to simplesitesbonus.com right now Sign up for Simple Sites Big Profits. Send me your sites. If you don't have a site, let's get you a site and let's work with it. And let's get started making money online together. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.